Hello, talented souls. I'm here. Look. Hello. Happy day. Happy week. Happy life. I'm so grateful to be in front of the ocean today. Oh, yes. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is a gorgeous morning. It's very early. This is the voice. Well, I still my voice is a little bit cracking. But beside that, this is the morning voice. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, I'm Luna. If you're, you know, back, thank you so much for being back. I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for the patrons. Thank you for the support. Thank you infinite for the new subscribers. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for every like. Today's topic. You phrase it in this way. I'm going to change uh, the way that we phrase the question, but obviously we're going to achieve the same target. Okay? This was the most voted by you. Thank you so much for all the questions, all the votes. I love when you do that. It's truly inspiring for me. Okay? And uh, I appreciate your help, you know? I mean, to. Because if you bring the topics, I'm helping you more, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anyway, this is the question, most voted. It was about the blockage. I'm going to skip the person. The blockage, uh, how to remove the blockage to achieve uh, your purpose and uh, financial abundance. And my way of uh, viewing this question is, it's not about the blockage, guys. If you read every single uh, guru about manifestation, it's not, never about the blockage. It's about the things that you visualize, the things that you make you make you happy, the things that give you joy. It's about empowerment. Okay? If you focus on the blockage, you give energy to the blockage. If you focus on the end result that you want, you give energy to the end result. And therefore it manifests. I believe in that 150%. And I hope a lot of you start seeing in this way. There are blockages. Of course there are blockages. We're humans. It could be anything. It could be a person. It could be uh, your own uh, uh, confidence. It could be anything. The main thing here for today's reading is what is the strength? What is the, the let's say, the superpower that you have? The thing that we need to encourage in you to, for you to achieve your purpose and achieve... Sorry, there's a tractor on the back of my my back. I don't know. I will show you. Well, no, I don't show you. <laughs> this is better. Uh, so it's about empowering you to keep that vision, to keep visualizing what you want, to keep taking the action towards what you want. Okay? But it's, but it's not it's only about visualizing. It's about taking action. Always it's about taking action. Okay? So empowerment. What we need to empower in you to achieve your purpose and your financial abundance and I know a lot of you are questioning about financial abundance and I'm going to literally explain why uh, I'm going to skip a person I'm going to explain why um, sometime on these readings on the point of financial abundance okay of course we all find we all want financial abundance okay but money is energy I have that as a mantra on my uh, uh, let's say a bank app, you know, in my phone. The message that my bank app give you in my phone is money is energy. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Okay, uh, I will stop the intro there. I hope you enjoy this see. I'm so happy to be here. I'm recharging like crazy. The ocean is my, you know, when I think about the abundance, honestly, truly, I visualize myself just standing here in front of this huge infinite water because we we cannot see the horizon no so for me this is infinite it's gorgeous thank you so much i will show you the pulse in a minute and uh, yeah see you thank you so much see you later in a minute hello talented souls welcome to the pile selection if you skip the intro hello i'm luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. We have this uh, topic that is what is enabling you to fulfill your purpose and achieve financial abundance. 
okay? We have four options with my beautiful decoration here because I'm in Gran Canaria. These are lava stones, just wanted to tell you. This, this is a volcanic island and these are all lava stones, except these two, okay? And I'm going to have them on my shop because they, I'm collecting them. I'm collecting the best ones. They're super, super powerful. It's fire. You know what I mean? It's fire. Okay, option number one, this lava stone with the sacred bee tarot. And this is the Ace of Cups. How gorgeous is that? Amazing. Option number two, this yellow pebble stone and the mystical tarot and the tower. Look at that. Oh my God. This tarot deck is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Every time I put them out, everyone comments. So the tower, radical change. I like it for a, for a purpose and financial abundance. I like the tower. Option number three is the other, uh, you know, like lava stone, a little bit darker. And the Omni Tarot, Queen of Swords, gorgeous, red cape. And option number four is this pebble gray stone. This is the classic now when you are in a beach, in a rocky beach. And this is my favorite, of course, is the Painted Tarot by Sophie McKay. And the Knight of Coins, okay? You know, for a reading about finance, this is a good sign. Okay, choose your pies. You can also check, you know, on the on timestamps. And I see you in a minute. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number one and this gorgeous lava stone, this will be your reading. Okay, has some white there. You have chosen the uh, sacred bee tarot. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle once here. I hope you're doing amazing. If you skip the intro and you're new, uh, hello, I'm Luna, and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love, okay? Do what you love. And if you're recording, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, this will be about, uh, you know, this is how I thought uh, this will be. Okay, the first row is about uh, empowering your purpose. And the second row is about financial abundance. Simple, okay? Empowering your purpose and financial abundance. And of course, we're going to clarify with the tarot, okay? So how to empower you, how, how to empower you to fulfill your purpose? Message from uh, uh, your, your guys. Okay, thriving, wow. You are already thriving. This is an indication that you are already there. Eh? I mean, this is my pile that you are already there. And if you are not already there, your mind, I mean, your soul is already there. What I'm trying to say with this is that uh, when you do your meditations, when you are in meditation mood, you already feel that you're thriving. So with regards of empowering your purpose, my, the advice from my spirit is, Keep meditating, keep visualizing, keep, uh, you know, keep the big dreams because this is a zebra, uh, sorry, a giraffe and a giraffe obviously can have a higher perspective, you know, because uh, it's taller than many other animals in the, in the desert or wherever they are in the savanna. Savanna, a lot of you are from Brazil, in the savanna or you love Brazil. Um, also Africa, I get a feeling of Africa uh, as a continent, uh, obviously, uh, South America. Also the Philippines and um, the Philippines and uh, Asia, you know, like um, the Philippines. Okay, this is very specific message, but I always like to mention these things because I'm thinking in geography right now. Okay, so this is the thing. The more you keep imagining it, the more you will achieve it. So we are talking about advice. We are talking about empowering. What empowers you is your visualization, your uh, meditation, the power of your, um, the power in, you know, like, I mean, this is simple. 
you you can train your, your subconscious runs 90% of your um the subconscious runs 90% of your mind so you are training your subconscious to feel that you already have the things and that's the right thing to do okay GP Morgan wow GP Morgan is GP Morgan is money okay GP Morgan is a banker is money this is one of the most, you know, I was going to put like this, you know, because this one was about financial abundance and this was about a purpose, but it doesn't matter, they're all connected. Your purpose involves making a lot of money. <laughs> your purpose will have, you know, your purpose involves making a lot of money, okay? So, uh, GP Morgan 246A measures one conglomerate. Be an indispensable cash dispenser. Don't make the laws inspire them. Oh, I love it. You are, whatever you, uh, is your line of business, you are going to inspire, you're going to create an empire. Uh, and, you know, you are going to be, I mean, I feel empress energy here or emperor energies. So your purpose involves building a big, big business. Thriving, GP Morgan, a lot of money. So your purpose involves this. You are already here, or as I said at the very beginning, your manifestation will come, okay? You are in the right track. And what will definitely help is you training your subconscious to feel that you are already there. It's funny because this week I have seen this message all the time. Who was the person that um, was talking about this? And I'm bad with remembering names. Um, well, Bob Proc, Proc, Bob uh, Proloc or Provoc, uh, definitely. Uh, and the other person, I forgot the name. Okay, bad. You know, I cannot, I cannot remember. You know, names. I'm bad with names. Anyway, my point is, this is someone that is depicted at not having one leg. Okay. No, it's having a leg, but it's on the back of the tongue. Yes. Listen, no one leg. You have a leg, sorry. <laughs> it's like he has a leg. But the thing is one leg is on the one leg is on the current situation and one leg is forward. So you are walking towards definitely you are in the right track, walking towards your dreams. You're going to achieve it. You're going to build an, an empire. In the sense that whatever is a legacy, whatever you're going to build is going to last generations. I have seen, I have been seeing this in many, uh, in many readings before. So you are part of the ones that get this reading most of the time. The secret sauce, you imagining in, imagine this as real. That's the secret sauce. That's, that's the empowerment. And uh, Bishuda, I have no clue what is Bishuda. Oh my God. I think Bishuda, well, number one, is you're following your heart, okay? Follow your heart because this is green, this is the heart chakra. This is about you following your heart. There is nothing here that tell me that you don't know what you, what you already want. You are a pile that know exactly what you want. You're walking towards that. You're doing all the visualization. Keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. This is a confirmation from my spirit that you are on the right track, okay? But here is what empowers you. Oh, sorry. What empowers you? And I hope this is okay. I'm trying to find the book. What empowers you is you. <laughs> that sounds like what empowers you is you. I'm going to tell you. What empowers you is you. It's your heart, it's your mind, it's your subconscious, it's your ambition. You don't need to look outside, it's all with you. All with you, honestly. The only empowering, empowerment that you need is you. Okay, let me see. Uh, Bishuda, yes. Justice, ooh, I love it. This is attaining balance, highest good, speaking desires, write, write a speech. I'm telling you, talk to the universe what you want. All your needs are, this is the mantra, all my needs are met. I speak to the universe what you want. You want an empire? Visualize it. You want um, honestly, I, I, I also am going to tell you my, my um, 
uh, what I realized very recently, a trick here. Your mind, your mind sometimes is like uh, visualizing something that is a smaller of what you're going to achieve. My point is, when you visualize these things, go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? Like J.P. Morgan, go bigger and bigger and bigger because uh, your mind is a powerful manifestor, okay? Powerful manifestor. You're following your heart. There is nothing here that is... Listen, keep doing what you do, okay? That's how you achieve your purpose. And you are one step there and one step back. You are in the between, in the between of the big, big uh, success. Wow, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm going to put some tarot cards before we go into this, okay? I'm going to put some tarot cards. Okay, what else my pile number one need to know about uh, empowering the purpose? And look at the colors, obviously. You choose you choose the heart. I love it, eh? You choose your heart. Always choose your heart. Okay? Eight of Swords. Yes, your mind interference here. I'm telling you. Think bigger. <laughs> think bigger and bigger. Honestly. You know what? You know what I'm doing? I'm visualizing, I'm visualizing, I'm visualizing no, not the world, I'm visualizing the cosmos. This is how big you need to go, okay? I mean, it's like, it's bigger, it's bigger. The only interference to your, um, let's say, to this J.P. Morgan situation is uh, how big you're going to think about your dreams. And it's not easy, you know, it's not easy, it's not easy. You know, the, the person that uh, created the movie, yes, now I remember, this woman that created the movie, uh, The Secret, um, a Secret, no? It's very common about manifestation, etc. She talked about visualization, yes. Visualization is very powerful to manifest, but visualization is a limitation because what you can visualize is limited. You know what I mean? So what I'm inviting you right now is to visualize unlimited. You hear me? Visualize unlimited. Do not visualize limited, which is the eight of swords. Visualize unlimited. And tell me how you do it, okay? I'm trying the same. The lovers. Oh. The lovers. <laughs> Major Arcana. It's a number six. It's about balance. Justice also is about balance. You will achieve definitely balance in life. And the lovers is a lot of you are going to be doing this with a partner. That's very common as well. You know, like uh, the perfect partners also the perfect business partners. <laughs> some of you are going to do this with someone else. And some of you, this is about perfect partnership with the divine. You see? Because these are two women that they look very similar to me, okay? This is you in partner with you. Partner with the universe, partner with, uh, you know? And also you were, choos you were chosen because this Cupido arrow here tells me that your heart has been, because heart, 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 your heart has been chosen to build this empire. Because you are someone, you, two, four, six, eight. Listen to this. Oh, I get, I get something here. Okay, listen to this. Two years ago, okay, the year two, which was 2000, was significant. Year four, which was 2002, was significant. Year six, which is 2022, I'm telling you, I mean, this is the numbers that are coming, uh, forget about the math. 2022 is very significant. And 2024, is the culmination of the masterpiece. So right now, you are one step there and one step back, okay? But this is starting in 2000, probably 2002, 2004. I said 2000, I said 2002. I mean, you whatever add up to two and add up to four in the last years. 
whatever add up to six, which is now, and then whatever add up to eight, which is, sorry, 2020, uh, 2020, that's the number, 2020. Well, you follow me. I'm thinking in 2020, 20, 2002, 2000, all the numbers I have, 2004, all the numbers I have a, a, a two, a four, and a six. But what I know, or what I, what I hear for many of you, is that 2024 is going to be ridiculous, abundant. Okay, then six balance, you are being selected by the universe. Cupido, arrow from the universe. And peace, well, look, this is kind of, you know, the two source. This is peace, you will achieve peace. You will achieve peace. This has been tough. This has not been easy to get here. It's never easy, okay, guys? It's never easy. You have to make a big decision in your life. That big decision was about probably leaving someone behind, changing countries, uh, leaving your family, uh, choosing... Uh, Honestly, I because we're talking about the heart, I'm feeling that the big decision was leaving someone behind with the lovers and the heart, okay? But the spirit is telling me that that was the right decision. Believe it or not. You're going to achieve your money, um, I mean, your purpose, which is building this empire, being an entrepreneur, uh, that kind of thing, uh, or, you know, making very good use of money you're going to achieve that and once you achieve that you have to say goodbye to someone or something to continue you know because you're going to be thriving and the and the this person or this partner i'm getting this message this person or this partner is not going to be there for, for you to um uh, you are leaving some something to connect with someone else and oh, you're leaving some, definitely leave, making a big decision. And that big decision is about choosing you and trusting you. Okay, this is great. The beautiful message. Okay, next. This is the raw about financial abundance. Okay, so what do you need to know about financial? How? Okay, what will empower? your financial abundance, because this is what empower your purpose and what empower your financial abundance. They are connected, as I said, because your purpose is to achieve a lot of abundance. Psychic protection, well, I'm not surprised to see this, you know, around me now, a shield of gold protecting me, a strong and bold. Your mind is a powerful manifestor. When we talk about psychic protection, is you being protected because this, this eight of swords here, okay, the interference, um, it could come from this person that is not aligned with your goals. You know what I mean? So you, you are being protected. You're being protected. Your mind is being protected. You are manifesting whatever is in your mind. So be careful about, your, about what is in your mind. Regardless, you're being protected. Why? Why? Because the universe is doing a partnership with you. Treasure memories. Treasure memories. Yes. Oh, wow. She's holding, she's holding a cloud here. Guys, I'm getting a lot, my talented souls, I'm getting a lot of things here about leaving someone behind because treasure memories is you will appreciate whatever you have lived with this person. You will accept it, you will appreciate, but then it will be a memory. There is so much about leaving someone behind to achieve the financial abundance in your case. Divine guidance. Yes, you're being divine. 38 and 40, significant numbers, because they're too close, you know what I mean? And also it's a gap of two years. And I'm talking here about gaps of two years, two, four, six, and eight. It's a two years gap all the time. So between a lot of you, 38, 40 will be significant, but don't take it. I mean, when you're younger, forget about it. I mean, this is just a guidance, okay? Also, if you're leaving your family, you left at 18 years old, you left home, okay? And the good thing about you is that you, you keep, you, you treasure your, your past because this is a foot in the past. You treasure your past. 
You learn from your experience. You learn from what happened before. I really like that in you. Okay? Whisper from the beings who shine. Let their messages be clear and kind. You have received your guidance. You are completely on the right track. The divine guidance towards your abundance is G.P. Morgan, with your destiny, is your purpose, to be your own boss, to be a self, uh, you know, self-made entrepreneur, making a lot of money. Your destiny is to make a lot of money, okay? And how you make that abundance is because you have followed all these, you have followed your, your psychic powers, your intuition, your heart, your guides. I mean, you are in alignment with the universe, to be honest, okay? So the, empower, the empowerment here is that keep doing what you do and make the freaking decision that is tough because that decision is the toughest one in your whole life. Okay, what else we need to do about knowing about financial abundance? Okay, the one four, the one four. And at the bottom, the queen of cups, yeah. This is you. When you leave this person, do it from love. You have infinite love to give. That's why the universe, and I hope you see that there, yes. You have infinite love to give. That's why the universe is giving you this financial abundance. Because you will share. Princess of Cups. A daughter, a sister, a younger person in your life that will be inspired by you. So your financial abundance it, it has, is connected to helping a younger person, because you are the queen and this is the princess, helping a younger person to achieve their destiny too. It's connected. There are two girls here. There is a queen and a princess, and it doesn't matter the gender. Uh, if you are a gentleman, gentleman, uh, you are a, a king and there is a prince. And, you know, like, this is generational. You're going to teach your daughter or a younger person the, the, how this is critical for empower this life, the life of this younger person. Critical. A sister, a daughter, uh, a younger generation that will, you will enable, this financial abundance is needed for you to achieve, for you to help this other life. And I believe we are all connected, you know what I mean? We don't do, I mean, things don't come, things are connected. Your abundance will enable someone else's abundance. Someone else that is very important in your life. Queen of Swords, yes. Your mind is sharp, your mind is clear. We have the Two of Swords and then the Queen of Swords. The decision will be made. This is a reconfirmation with treasured memories that uh, you will hold love for these painful memories. You will hold love, but you will move on because your mind is very sharp. You will conquer this. Uh, you you will conquer this bigger vision, the infinite vision. You're super powerful, eh? Defeat five of swords. Five of swords is two two swords here cross and three swords standing. There is something that is to, for this financial abundance to happen. There is something that will be left behind. This person is crying. That will leave behind. That will feel as a defeat. But you will stand strong. And because I have three, I have the mother and the two kids. I'm getting that. The mother and the two kids here. Uh, you're making a decision to leave a partner. A lot of you. But you will secure this financial abundance because of that. They're connected. And eight and three is 11. And this is the justice card. Justice, justice. The justice also is portrayed as a balance. It's two, two skills. Here there are two swords, two skills. And the two swords need to, need to the, two, the partnership need to be end for the partnership to become bigger. Because from two, we go to a three. 
I'm getting that. I mean, I'm getting that message, and you are being guided here. The another another five five and five is the ten. This is the change. This is what you're leaving behind. I mean, this is what the financial abundance will conquer. Will conquer the worry. Will conquer the the emotional defeat. Will conquer your mind. You you are going to leave behind something that you know you're being divinely guided to change this to change this partnership to achieve abundance and i'm going to put a few more cards here for you 23 minutes oh my god about financial abundance okay what is coming for my beautiful pile number one emotional sensitivity honor and respect your deep sensitivity as is a gift to us all, yes, there will be a time for sorrow with this emotional uh, change, okay? But, I mean, that's the guidance, you know? You're going to you're going to get, make money if you change your life, okay? Raise of promotion, congratulations, and increase of abundance flow await you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine gui guidance. Keep up the good work. Well, we know that you're, you're doing that. You keep doing what you're doing. Okay, and the last one. Words of abundance, yes. You have the ability to instant manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. We saw that, okay? And always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Listen, your, your visualizations will be bigger. Expand. You are destined to create an empire. Some of you with someone else, some of you alone, because it's partnership with divine. You are following your heart. You need to make a tough decision. Okay. You are following your, your intuition. You're following your, your clever mind. You're following your divine guidance in. You're following your heart. You keep doing that. You will be thriving. You will get abundance. You will get abundance and you will defeat this worry this, uh, let's say, mental, uh, I mean, this trap. Because I'm thinking a lot of you are with someone that is blocking this vision to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And with that, I'm going to leave the reading there. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. Thank you. I wish you all the best. If you enjoy the reading, please subscribe, share, comment, like. Help this channel to grow so we can ignite more talent to ignite the world and do what they love. And also say, uh, check on my Patreon if you want to support the channel and check on my Etsy shop. I have a lot of things there. I'm going to put also lava stones very soon to ignite you more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste till the next time. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number two and this gorgeous pebble, you know, kind of yellow pebble. And if you skip the intro, hello. And if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. <laughs> okay, today, what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose and financial abundance? What is empowering you to achieve your purpose and financial abundance? And uh, wow, number one was intense, gorgeous. I mean, I love these topics. Thank you so much for being here. And remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, okay, to support the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is a different setting because I'm on holidays, but I couldn't go another week without doing a reading. <laughs> okay, what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is this. What is empowering you to achieve financial success is this. They're all connected because if you fulfill your purpose, you will be abundant, guarantee guarantee but it's financial i know we're talking about money we will find out okay then this is your target okay what is empowering you to achieve your purpose oh luna this is the moon card this is an oracle deck that represents all the major arcanas the moon what is empowering you number one is some of you are using the moon to manifest uh, doing uh, witchery stuff. <laughs> I love it. You know, like uh, potions and rituals, etc., etc. A lot of you are doing that. Also, your intuition. You have a, oh my freaking goodness me, amazing intuition. 
you are very intuitive, uh, you work with the moon. So what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is your psychic abilities, honestly. You're very psychic, very, very psychic. You're trusting, you're trusting your intuition. Also, you're someone that can uh, uh, you're very good at overcoming uh, challenges. I'm getting that feeling because the moon is like, uh, it's dark, but you feel uh, light. You know what I mean? So you are someone that can be in the most ugly situation and I still feel, um, feel, see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, your ability to, your hopes. You are someone that definitely has a lot of hopes. That is helping you to fulfill your purpose. Oh, Takashi Murakami. I love it. This is my creative pile. If a museum cash register rings, answer it. The difference between a style and brand is copyright. Earn your artistic license to change lanes. Yes. This is a, this is a about, look, this is kind of the, the opposite, uh, you know, I mean, not the opposite, this, the colors. Look at the amount of colors we have in both cars. This is a moon car that is very colorful. This is a very colorful car. So you're someone full of bright light, full of light. So what is helping you to, what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is your creativity, the ability to see the light when it's dark, the ability to see what others don't see. You have an eye for, uh, you have an eye for, um, I'm getting artistic, I'm getting a lot of artistic vibe here, meaning that you can see patterns where others don't see. So maybe you are an architect, you are a designer, uh, you are an, uh, let's say, painting or very artistic, very artistic uh, energy I'm getting here. Someone that used the fears to convert into something very pretty and very bright, you know, In psychic, very psychic, very intuitive, but it's about using 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 the pain or using the dark no not the pain the dark the things that we don't know okay using that to bring light to something that others have not seen i'm getting a lot of energy here about um yeah uh, creating things that are very pretty very unusual um yeah but how you how you get here? You're going to be very famous with your pieces, with your with your work. Honestly, you're going to be very famous. You're potentially going to be in the spotlight uh, with your products, with the things that you create, because this is someone you're like, wow! This is someone like super surprised about what's going on. This is this is how you having an eye for business and an eye for art. Okay, so you combine the two very well. Okay. You can sell your paintings. I mean, you can sell your paintings. You can sell what you create very well. So you're someone with the two skills, the business skills and the creativity skills. And the move here is because you create probably in the evening. A lot of you are, you know, your inspiration comes in the evening, but also you're very intuitive, very psychic, ta, ta, ta. obviously you're here because you, you believe in the things. Uh, and that's what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose. Patience, yes, oh wow. You know what, I don't like patience. I'm not a patient person. I'm, I'm sure you're not a pers patient person as well. So when we get patient, it's like, oh my God, I need to wait. I'm, I'm like this, you know, I'm someone that sometimes I struggle so much to be patient. That's the same with you, okay? You're going to fly. You're going to fly, you're going to reach the sky, you're going to be known, you're going to, your things are going to be well known, your art is going to travel the world, you are going to achieve this sunlight, you know, this sunlight, the sun is in the middle of the moon, you see what I mean, this is the moon and this is the sun, you're going to achieve your success, it's going to take some patience, it's going to take some time, but you're going to get there. What this is telling me is that this, you are going in the right direction and the, 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 the opportunity to, to fly high is coming soon. So 
how to empower your honestly how to empower your purpose is number one in the evenings work with the moon do so, you do some rituals the moon seems to me that is giving you inspiration then travel you get inspired when you travel okay you create better when you travel this pile is about how to empower your creativity and these are the clues this is someone successful shock about the success and this is about being patient because it takes uh, time to get the fly, but we're going to check more. Okay, what else my pile number two need to know about the purpose? Empowering the purpose. Curiosity, oh yes, curiosity. This is about someone traveling, honestly. This is for me, it's a kind of traveling. Be curious, check other cultures, travel, explore, 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 explore. Look in social media, look in places that others don't look. Be a curious mind, because I'm thinking that the more, the more you travel, the more you kind of, you know, explore into example, uh, rituals, um, witchery. I don't know, that could be the subject of your art. That could be the subject of your work. The more you investigate, the better. Queen of Cups, well, beautiful, beautiful. People will love what you do, okay? This is about the water sign. I'm getting a lot of water sign here. Okay. The moon may be in a water sign. That's, an, that's a confirmation message for some of you. Your moon in, your, in, in a water sign or your sun in a water sign. Okay. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio and uh, Libra, right? I mean, I'm, I'm rubbish with... Uh, no, no, I'm not rubbish. <laughs> no, water sign is Aquarius, uh, Scorpio and Cancer. No, Pisces. Aquarius is air. Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Okay. Uh, uh, you, are, you are getting inspired. You're getting inspired. So your purpose has to do with, with your emotional intelligence. Your emotional intelligence. You can see patterns where others don't see. You can see things with different eyes because here we have an, an someone looking in a different way. Honestly, your uh, your creativity is unlimited. Your uh, your purpose is to create things that will be aesthetically different to people. Will be will unlock emotional fulfillment to others. It's like when you look at a piece of art and then you say, wow, this is beautiful. Or a building that is amazing. Or, um, I don't know, it has, it has to do with pretty things, honestly. Ace of Wands, wow, 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 wow. Ace of Wands, your passions. The Queen of Wands, your passion. Keep following your passions, okay? But be an explorer. You know, this is someone that finds a treasure in a book. This is someone that finds a flower in the middle of the book. Is that normal? No. This is an interpretation. This is a, a finding. Follow your passion. You're going to reach the highs. You're going to reach the highs. You're going to have a, a new beginning that will surprise you. Your purpose, your purpose is empowering. When you explore, when you work with your emotions, when you travel, when you explore, when you go different places, and when you combine all these findings into something unique, okay? About your financial abundance, what is empowering your financial abundance? Peace. Bridget, Godness in your sacred name, a light within me, peace, flame. Interesting, no? The light, the fire, the light. Number six, the flame is touching, you know, if we put the flames upside down, it's a six. Some of you are born on September or June. But what I'm getting here is with peace is that your financial abundance comes. I mean, you need to follow these passions in order to be in peace. If you follow the passion, you're in peace, you get the money. 
because this guy is mega mega successful blooming yes look at this they're going to bloom look at the hair the hair here is an octopus and the hair here is like a a, a tree you're going to ground your abundance. You're going to bloom. Everyone is going to look at your creations. You are going to be mega abundant. And it's pink and the, 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 the dress here is pink and yellow, which reminds me the root chakra, the solar plexus chakra, and the sacral chakra. You've, this is sacral chakra too. You need to do what you love, baby, because if not, the abundance is not going to... You need to keep going in this direction. The direction of exploring, the direction of intuition, what inspire you, what, what you know, what you discover, you know, interpretation, different interpretation of things, portrayed in a in in a way that you know will enlighten others, will make others feel very surprised. It's like you're unique. I remember. I I'm I'm getting the vibes of Frida Kahlo, okay, Frida Kahlo. Knowledge. Ooh, knowledge and a book. Look at this. Yeah, this is about inter interpreting reality in a different way. This is about showcasing other things. This is a potion as well. This is magic. This is the moon. This is Aladdin. You wish fulfilled. 28 significant number. It's a 10. Completion. And it's an ace. Yeah. You will, you will, you will, you will get the knowledge that you need to create the things that you are going to create and be very successful. Your financial abundance is connected with your knowledge. Let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of ancestors flow. Yes, the knowledge of ancestors. The more you know, the more you explore, the more you travel, the more you connect with your intuition, okay? The more that you connect with the ancestors, because this girl reminds me of Frida Kahlo, Okay, Frida Kahlo, uh, Frida Kahlo, Frida Kahlo, and all these big artists, they are very well educated, you know what I mean? They know, they know a lot about art, they know a lot about the past, they know a lot about, uh, you know, they have knowledge. My point is, if you ever need to, for the youngest people here, if you ever need to decide where, what you study, Okay, I'm thinking a lot about history, uh, art history. Uh, um, I'm getting also anthropology, philosophy. A lot of people here will study these things, but then will convert these things into creations that will be uh, even a book. Eh? Some of you are going to write a book because this is my creative pile. No? Some of you are going to write a book about your findings, about your travels, about your, you know, about your travels, about these things. This is about redefining, redefining things. I mean, it's about your financial abundance relies in your knowledge. The more you live, the more abundant you will be financially. Okay. Let's put some cards about abundance. Donations, teething, and charitable work. Yes. Give joyful to the organization and people who have spiritual support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be retained to you many fold in miraculous way. The time, supplies, and money and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. You will make a lot of money. because Why? Because you are... Um, you are very abundant, abundant in knowledge, abundant in, in creativity, abundant in, in intuition, you know? You're going to bloom. Attracting, not chasing. Yes, you attract abundance. There are flames here. Follow your passion, follow your passion, and follow your passion. Never question that. Your abundance is in your light, in your passion. Anything or anyone you chase after will run away. <laughs> Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. And the last one, emotional sensitivity, honor and respect your deep sensitivity, and it's a gift. Yeah, your psychic, uh, your psychic and your emotions and the way that you connect with your emotion is a source of 
financial abundance honestly so what is what will empower financial abundance is knowledge following your passion okay uh, doing what you love traveling uh, connecting with your intuition giving love you know like uh, re truly be, being a source of love for others and for you all of that okay and clear yourself at the bottom as the energy to release any toxic energy that may have absorbed you yeah clear yourself as a button and what is at the bottom here to close the reading the chariot yes you the chariot always reach destination it's slow and I steady because this is a snail we have patience here it will take some time but you will get there and at the back is an empire and this is a lady that for me reminds me always about uh, someone that is very rich you know like a you know, someone that's very rich, someone that has to give to others. That's why we have charitable work here. You will attract your abundance. If you, number one, follow your passion, get an exploring mind, get in, 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 develop your intuition, and honestly translate all of, it, all of this into something that showcases to the world a new way of seeing things, either by a book, by, a, by art, by whatever, you're going to bloom. Beautiful. And if you enjoyed the reading, please subscribe, share, comment, like. I love every comment. I read them all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for letting me read for you. Uh, you can check out my Etsy shop if you want to support my channel. Uh, Patron, uh, it's just a token to support the channel. It would be much appreciated. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Till the next time. Namaste. Thank you so much. And also don't forget to... Um, uh, don't forget to check on, uh, uh, I was going to say, and I forgot. <laughs> I'm thinking a lot of you are thinking about my patron. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number three, this is your reading. And of course, today I'm in a different place because I'm on holidays, <laughs> but I couldn't wait. <laughs> I brought everything. This is a lava stone. Gorgeous. I'm going to have this, those on the shop. And uh, yes, check on the shop uh, in a week time. When I'm back to England, you know, I'm going to put it. Uh, I am in Gran Canaria and Gran Canaria has all this lava because uh, there is a volcano here. It's super cool. Uh, welcome back. Oh, welcome. I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. Today's topic. What is empowering you to fulfill your purpose and financial abundance? This is about the uh, purpose and this is about the financial abundance. Okay? So what is empowering you? No, I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to change that. It will be like this. What is empowering you to fulfill your purpose? What is empowering you to to achieve financial abundance. Let's check. This one wanted to come first. Moon dance. Oh, can you see that? Okay, yes, it's okay. Uh, moon dance, number four. Number four is a solid number. Number four is that you, you are building something solid. But the funny story that four is a, is a number of so, something solid, but she's walking in a fine line. This is interesting. It's like a contradiction. This is a contradiction between the number and the, the design of the car. There are three birds here talking, gossiping. There are three people in your life that don't trust what you're doing. And you're holding the moon. You're holding the dreams. I love it. You know what? What is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is you not listening to these people around that is telling you that you cannot do it and do it anyway. So you are my rebel, uh, my rebel pile. And this is England. Some of you are in England. Okay, listen, hold tight to your dreams and don't listen to the gossiping around. You can do this. You can walk this fine line and reach your dreams. But these people is stopping you, you know, because if she's walking there, these birds are distracting. Okay, these birds are distracting to the destiny 
Although you, you, the moon, you're holding the moon, so you're not going to fail off for nothing in the world. And also four is a significant number for you. Some of you born in month uh, April or four as a life path or four as a date of birth. I mean, no, all of you, but this is an extra confirmation if that is the case. Okay. Some of you born in the four of the, th I mean, this is very specific, the four of March or uh, March 4. Okay, that's very specific, don't have to be, but I want to say. Regardless, this is the main thing. These people is stopping you from walking here. Don't listen to them, that's gossiping. You keep following your dreams. What is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is you listening to you and not listening to the other things uh, other people think about, your goals, your dreams. Okay, it's like having a father, a mother, a sister telling you, no, that's not the right career. You are not going to never get, make money with that. Don't do that. No, no, no. And you do it anyway. Congratulations. Do it anyway. Oh, yes. Serena Williams. Yes, this is a strong, this is a strong woman. A strong man. Doesn't matter. This is about you. Never quitting. And look, she has a sister, so... You know, I'm telling you, the people that is talking to you is probably family. Listen, big dreams. This is people of, because we have Serena William. I must say that your purpose maybe is connected to a sport. Okay. Sport, any kind of a sport. And some people is telling you, okay, you are not fast enough, you don't have the body, uh, I don't know, you don't have something that is required to be a Serena Williams, but you have. My point is you have. And your determination and your stamina and your ability to, uh, let's say, being very resourceful, because this is a very resourceful person, will take you there. Never quit your dreams. Here she holds the moon, here she holds the sun. You see what I mean? You're going to reach your purpose and your purpose is connected and also she's wearing red, which for me is um, is grounding your dreams. It's grounding, it's grounding. She's not wearing any other color more than red. Red is the root chakra. If you're a person of colors, this is an extra confirmation. I love it. A podium finish doesn't mean you are done. Sell a style that can be bought. Be your, be your own empire. <laughs> uh, you're a rebel. You're a rebel. You're different. You won't follow the rules. You will follow your dreams. You're holding into your dreams. And your determination is the key that is empowering you to fulfill your dreams. The determination, the not listening to others, the being you, the being unique, being your own empire, as she said, okay? No, not paying attention to the bush uh, other people is telling you. I love your personality, eh? Freedom. Oh, yes, yeah, baby. Freedom. 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 Is that the song? I don't know. Um, you got to talk to get... You gotta talk to God. Yeah, from George Michael. Freedom, freedom. You gotta get to God to get. I don't know. Freedom. Listen. <laughs> oh, yes. You're going to leave your family, honestly. I mean, I'm getting a lot of vibes of younger generation here, but that doesn't have to be. You're going to leave your past behind if you're, yeah. You're going to be, you're going to follow your dreams. What, what honestly? empowers you to fulfill your purpose is being being free okay uh, living the life that you want not paying attention to what other people say if you're living with some friends or some colleagues whatever and they're not empowering you you leave that home you go to somewhere else what empowers you is your ability to feel your ability and your knowledge that you are free as a bird Unique as Serena William, talented beyond what other things, your self belief, the way that you see yourself is your power. Congratulations, this is very powerful. 
I love it. I love your personality. That will, I mean, keep doing that. Okay? This one to come. Two of Wands. Uh, two of Wands is about, uh, yeah, it's about traveling, you know? She holds the world. In the traditional tarot, she holds the world. <laughs> Listen, you hold the world, you hold the moon, and you hold the, the sun. You see? You have big dreams. Big, big dreams. You're going to get there. And your dreams are all about freedom, about doing what you love. I mean, like, following your own personality, your own... Trusting in you. I'm getting goose I spoon like crazy with you, eh? Page of Pentacles, yes. Everything starts somewhere, okay? The Page of Pentacles is someone that um, is adventurous. It's about new offers. It's about new opportunities. You may receive very soon a new opportunity. And you're going to take it. You're someone that, that doesn't doubt yourself. You take the opportunity when you get them. And the three of ones, yeah, you're going to walk away from this place, this location, towards your dreams. Three of ones for me is the... Three of one is someone that follows the dreams. We have the two and the three, which is also progression. Following this offer that is coming probably right now, okay, I'm going to say, following this opportunity, it will be, make you free. It will, it will allow you to reach your dreams. And it's happening right now, I'm getting for a lot of you. So what is empowering you to fulfill your purpose is your self-belief, your determination to fulfill your dreams, you uh, hire a, your, let's say, your vision of the future with the freedom and the world here, um, you trusting in your own talent. Okay, financial abundance, trust, yeah. 31 is a four, again, another significant number, 31st. Born on the 31st or 13. 31 age as well. Uh, I'm safe, I'm secure, I am love, I trust my faith and that. You trust yourself. That's the key for financial abundance. Trust yourself and your talent. The dormant is the um, the dormant is the hangman. Again, um, this is about uh, seeing things from a deep from your inner self. This is someone with the eyes closed. You know what? Because when the moment that you need to make decisions, and this is under the, the page of pentacles, when you need to make this decision, you look inside. Never hear to these people. Never. Look inside. The answer is inside of you. The true perspective of life is inside of you. Inspiration. Oh, wow. The 19 is the sun. Yeah. The sun. Holding the sun here. Isis, goddess of magic, I ask thee to bring your inspiration to me. Isis also is a goddess of, you know, of love, is a goddess of um, abundance. So here, here, you know what, what it reminds me? You know, like in the olden times, this, this reminds me a gladiator, you know? So you have the queen and the king looking at you and knowing that you are the true talent. That's what I'm getting. It's like... The queen and the king looking at you, your performance, and knowing that your true talent, you are the sun, you are really someone with a lot of, um, uh, let's say, talent. It's talent. Raw, raw, pure, pure talent. Okay? People is going to look at you. You are going to be, your talent is going to be uh, finance. There will be people investing in you, in, in your talent. In your, because if it is a sport, they will invest in you. They will take you to clubs, they will take you to places, they will, they will invest in your career. There will be people investing in your career. Okay? And you will achieve freedom. I mean, you will be successful here. So trust your talent. And uh, there will be people putting money on you. You know, for you to keep, keep developing this talent. Okay? Like uh, Messi. You know, Messi gets, uh, you know, Ace of Swords, a new beginning. Yeah, it's coming right now, eh? I'm going to give this message because this is something happening right now. A new opportunity. This is the page of pentacles. It's also a new beginning. You following your truth. Your truth is your trust. You trust in you. No matter how fine is the line. How much you feel like maybe you don't have everything. You have everything. With your talent, you have everything. 
two of pentacles options yeah potentially two offers you know what i mean two offers to go a different place to keep growing your skills two of pentacles balance ten of cups yes this is your destiny your destiny is to do this your talent. Your talent is very, very strong. Ten of Cups. You will make your family proud and happy. And uh, time will be... Um, time will prove them that you made the right decision. So if at any moment you leave your home because you want to explore your talent, etc. Or you, or you go solo, no? Freedom. Your family will be proud. Okay? No matter how hard it is for them to know... When this is done, okay, when your talent is, you receive the money for your talent, your skills, etc., your family will be mega proud of you. And the last one, Eight of Swords. Never, never listen to what others tell you. This is the only pain point here. Other people telling you something. The only way to follow your truth and be successful and financial abundance in this case, uh, which is these people finance, financing your, uh, right now, your financial abundance is about someone financing your growth. Okay? If you look inside, you're free. If you look outside, you're not free. Look inside. Okay? That's the main advice here. Uh, look inside, trust you, trust you, trust you. Okay, any other information about financial abundance for my pile number three? Release jealously. Jealously. Jealously is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. I'm thinking people is jealous of you, not you jealous of anyone. I'm thinking that people is jealous of you. That's why they're gossiping there. You have a talent. You are natural born talented and potentially connected with the sports. Singing and dancing. Look at this. Or oh, this. Singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement. Yeah, some people is going to put money on you. You are naturally talented. If you're a dancer, naturally talented dancer. If you've seen, I mean, I'm thinking that the body plays a key role in your in your talent. Eh? Even if you've seen, I think the body plays a critical role because obviously you're walking here like it's an acrobat. You know what I mean? And the last one, ancient. I'm telling you, this is, I'm getting a response in all your reading, okay? A ancient of manager, your work span is rich as your partner with, with a professional who can help you. This is the people that's going to put money on you. Financial abundance is coming, is, is truly, truly coming to you. They're going to put money to develop your talent, to keep developing your talent, invest in you, and you're going to make your family proud, okay? You and your family proud. This is truly, truly happening. And I'm getting Gusa Spoons, I don't know if you see. When I get Gusa Spoons, this message is so, so clear. So, so clear. It's not going to be a pile for many people, but for the ones that this pile is, it's a spot on. Okay? Spot on. Freedom. Freedom. You gotta do to get to gain. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I feel so happy for you. This is amazing. Don't listen to anyone. Go for that offer. Go for that opportunity. Okay, go because this you're going to be seen, and this Asian, this these rich people is going to be inspired by you. They're going to put money on you to develop your talent. You're going to follow your dreams, follow the sun, what makes you happy, follow the the world, travel. You will travel the world with your talent. Okay, all the people will be jealous. Yes, your sister will be jealous. Your brother will be jealous. I don't care. You're going to make them proud. Because you're going to be mega abundant with your skill. Mega. The Ten of Cups is happiness all over the place. 
Namaste. I love it. I wish you all the best. Keep me posted. Come and come and come in. Uh, if you love it, consider donation, consider the patron, consider my Etsy shop, support my channel, support my craft. It will be highly appreciated because honestly, I am a full-time person worker, but I do this because I love it. And I do this because I love to ignite your talent. Namaste. Till the next time. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pile number four and this gorgeous pebble here, this will be your reading. Okay. Thank you so much. If you are uh, back, welcome back. If you're new, hello, I'm Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. This reading has been really cute, really cute. Okay. So last but not least, pile number four with my favorite, absolutely favorite deck, which is the painted tarot deck. I don't use this, but I use it very often. I use it, I use it, but sometimes I'm protective of this deck because I always want to keep it for myself. <laughs> it's one of the ones that you don't want to get broken, you know, it's the one that you protect because it's my beautiful one. But today I share, I share because I care. Okay, your purpose. What is empowering your purpose? What is empowering your financial abundance? As simple as that, okay? And I have, uh, you know, these cards at the end. We're going to shuffle. This is going to tell us what is empowering your purpose and this will empower your financial abundance. And obviously, we will clarify with the tarot. Okay, let's kick off. Ooh, I love it. Taking risk. Ooh. This is super cool for a reading like this. Do not sit still. Move on. Take risk. Your purpose, your purpose is empowered if you take risk. Obviously, measured risk. This is a kite, a red kite. I sell feathers of the red kite in my shop. Okay, if you ever, you know, think that that will help. I have only one left at the moment, but the season is coming where, you know, I will get more. The red kite is about, uh, yeah, red kites are very, very risky. Very, well, it's a it's type of eagle, no? So a lot of air sign here, probably. Taking risk. What is empowering your purpose is you taking risk. Wow. Calvin Klein. Oh, I like it. Take risk. Oh, my God. Double. Look at it. Take risk. Take risk. My God. Oh, my God. My voice. My God. My God, guys. Take risk and take risk and have a press statement ready. Find real meaning in innuendo, outrage into art form. Yeah, well, Kevin Klein, expand. This is what I'm getting with you. Take risk. If you create example, Kevin Klein, I'm going to do the example of Kevin Klein, but it could be any example. If you design clothes, create a perfume. If you have a perfume, create clothes. If you have clothes, then create um, uh, leather goods. You know what I mean? This is about taking risks. This is about expanding your brand. Honestly, this is about expanding your brand. Uh, it doesn't matter if you work in a company, for example. Also, it's about expanding your knowledge, expanding your uh, your skills, taking risks. For example, there is a new job and the job is 50% is, is of what you do, uh, you know, and 50% now, take the risk. Go for the 50% because it will expand your portfolio of skills. It will expand your uh, ability to make money in the future, okay? Your purpose is asking you to take more risk to fulfill it. This is amazing. Wow, awaken, yes. Awaken is the wheel of fortune. That will give you a lot of money. That will make you very successful. This is a card of, these are all major arcanas. Uh, is the sigil oracle deck and this is awakened this is about you know like uh the wheel of fortune abundance abundance this is a radical if you take a risk your business is going to grow your talents are going to grow and you're going to fulfill your purpose which is obviously is fortune which is obviously being mega successful at what you do <laughs> so what empower your purpose is taking risk so do not sit still. 
Move on, move on. Try new things. Go for it. Try it, try it, try it. Okay. And we have one, two, three, four. I mean, sorry. We have six eyes. Six eyes, which potentially mean this is the year 2022, which is the sixth year. But also, this tell me that you have listened to your intuition. And six here tell me that most of you will have six kind of different a portfolio of, of skills or six kind of businesses. You see? The perfume, the leather goods, the, um, I don't know, the, um, you know, whatever, whatever. I'm, you know, I'm not, I mean, any, anything. Taking risk. Taking risk will make you abundant, financial abundant. Okay. What about, I'm going to do different in this case. I'm going to put the tarot at the end. What about your financial abundance? What is empowering your financial abundance? Abundance, of course. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, you're getting lucky because you have my favorite deck. Okay. Abundance. Goddess of abundance divine. Let me thrive. Let fortune be mine. Your purpose is fortune. And your, the key to unlock um, financial abundance is you know, it's like, <laughs> it's knowing that you're already abundant. You know what I mean? You are abundant. You are abundant. You just need to take bigger risk in a good way. Risk. You need to get out of the comfort zone to unlock the abundance. Liberty 2022, I'm telling you. 2-2, 2022. This is your year. Liberty. Wow. Liberté, la liberté. French people here. Americans and French. I'm getting some kind of vibes here. Liberty, it reminds me of Liberté, which is French. Okay? Look, you with your collection of success and, and businesses, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight businesses, some of you. Eight skills, eight things. Diversity, diversifying your talent. Okay? It starts everywhere. Well, there's a cloud here and a moon. Two clouds, one moon, and few stars. You try eight different things. One, two, three, four, five. And potentially this one is the six that is going to fly high. Yeah, I'm getting, look, expansion. Expansion, expansion, 22 is your year. Liberty, liberté, take risk, libertad, and liberté, and liberty. It's about taking risk. It's about feeling uh, no, not trapped in anything to keep trying things, to keep going. This is beautiful. Your abundance, your money is in the risk. Best possible decision. Oh, yes. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Yes, Artemis is telling you that the, with the arrow that you're going to hit the target. She has a moon on the head. There is a moon here, which reminds me your intuition is a spot on. 22 is the year, is now to take the risk, to invest, to try different things. Maybe even putting money in the, in the, in the stock exchange. You know what I mean? So we don't know. Maybe putting money on Calvin Klein uh, uh, stock. I don't know. You know what I mean? This is about the diversification of work, diversification of effort, diversification of skills. That unlock your purpose, which is the fortune. You want to be fortune. You have to have money. This is your purpose. Okay? Uh, make a lot of money. And, um, which is fair enough. And uh, by doing that, you, uh, you will be hitting the right target, which means, uh, uh, you know, achieving the right success or the right idea the right idea, the right, let's say, the right, uh, uh, the, the stock, uh, the money put in the right the stock. You see what I mean? All those kind of things. And obviously I'm talking about the stocks and actions and things like that in the stock uh, market because taking risk, obviously, when you do these kind of things, you're taking a risk, okay? You don't know if the, if the stock is going to grow or not. This is telling me that by taking risk, you're going to grow, but it's a risk of, you know, it's... it's you, you will get inspired with the best possible decision. Wow. What else do you need to know about your purpose? And about your abundance, financial abundance. And at the bottom, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is, this is, this is about ending like uh, the comfort zone. You are ending a comfort zone. You're not going to sit there. It's, I mean, it's, it's over. You know, you need to move on. 
You need to take risk. Yeah, ten of cups, look. That's the happiness. From a ten of swords to a ten of cups. Your happiness isn't taking risk. It's, it lies in diversification. Calvin Klein and the Empress. A lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of business ideas. You are going to become an empress. Simple. Abundance, liberté, fortune, best possible decision. The best possible decision in your life is to take this risk, okay? It's, a, it's expanding, okay? It's putting your money in different things, as I said, um, learning different skills. Uh, two uh, of pentacles is balance, yeah? You, you are already an expert here, you know? Like, uh, this is an infinite, infinite connection, infinite money. You are an expert here to balance the scales between doing what you know and exploring and trying new things. You will find balance between what you do and what you're trying to achieve with this risk. Imagine that this is the risk and this is what you do. They are connected and between them, there is infinite abundance. You need to try new things, expand. Empress and the Ten of Cups, amazing. Temperance is balance again. You will find balance, you will find balance, you will find balance. You're not going to take this risk without keeping a pocket of money safe. Your money is safe. Your talent is safe. Your business is safe. You right now can take risk. That's what I'm getting. Star, oh wow. Look, three major arcana and the 10 of a star. Yeah, you're going to reach your dreams under this girl. You're going to be free, free, freedom. Financial freedom is your purpose. Abundance, fortune, financial freedom. You are going to achieve this financial freedom. You, do, you will not need to worry about money anymore in life. You see? You will not need to worry anymore. But what you're going to do is you're going to keep investing, keep growing, because you're an empress. You're not going to sit standing still there. You're going to make your money make more money. Pay your source. And the best possible decision makes a lot of sense. The idea, the illuminated idea will come. Okay? The best possible decision will come. And you know, you will feel like young again. You will feel like, uh, yeah, when we take risk, we feel like a kid, you know what I mean? That's the feeling of the page of source there. When we take risk, we feel like a kid. I love it. Okay, few messages more. I'm going to put all of these from this deck. I have a combination of decks here, but I want this one. Okay, so these are final message for you with regards to financial abandon and fulfilling your purpose. Keep going. Oh, yes, baby. Use the energy of any disappointment, the Ten of Swords, to fuel your creativity project with authentic emotion. Yes, some of you uh, are going to invest in art, in music, Mm, interesting. Divine guidance, yes. The ideas you're receiving are heaven-sent answers to your prayers. Best possible decision, the arrow is hitting the right idea. Page of source is the right idea. Clarity. You are getting a very clear idea of where you put the risk. Where to take the risk. Authenticity. Trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. You know exactly where you're going to go, where you're going to put the money. You're going to reach your hopes, your destinies, your abundance, your success. You are going to be mega, mega abundant for you to create more abundance. Okay? You will not need to worry about money anymore. That's your, that's your purpose. Your purpose is to reach this situation. And it's fair enough. It's good enough. It's as good as it gets. And I congratulate you for wanting to achieve this. Because you, you, you're taking the risk twice, you know. You're expanding. You will be successful. You will create business. And when someone is as abundant as you, will, you are, because I'm talking about present, you are, you will empower others to do the same, okay? Always remember to pass it on. And with that, I'm finishing the reading here. I thank you so much for letting me read for you. It is a pleasure. 
Please support the channel, Patreon, donations, uh, Etsy shop, likes, shares, comments, subscribe, all of that good stuff. So we keep igniting more talent for them like you ignite the world. Thank you so much. Namaste. Till the next time.